go back to another video. Welcome back to the next video. So in this one, we're going to focus on building a building a project and how to put it onto the Oculus Quest if you've just got it and you don't have it set up as a developer. So the first thing we need to do is actually open up Google. So I've got it here. And then we're going to search Oculus Quest. And let's just take us to the Oculus site. So when you load up the Oculus homepage, you'll be greeted by this, or it might be something else, but you can see I'm already logged in. So you need to make sure you're logged in. You can go to community and then developers. Uh, once we're in here, we've got a load of other stuff that you can read through and check out about building the, the Oculus. But what we need is down in manage. So we need to click on manage and that'll open up this page here. So you can see we don't have any apps yet, but we can create a new one or we can create an organization and to develop apps for the quest without building it to the store we just need to create a new organization so we can type in here game dev app we'll take that I understand then you just click that so it will go through and hit submit we're going to accept the terms and terms and agreement so do that and then from here we're good to go what we need to do now is jump over to the mobile app and then enable developer mode through that. So now that I'm on the phone, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Oculus app. In the bottom right, we're actually going to select settings. And you need your headset on for this, so we're going to connect to that. So we're just waiting for it to connect to the headset. And then now we've got some more options. We can hit drop down. We can go to more settings. And then we want to enable developer mode. So we just give that a little tick. And that's it for the mobile app. And then we're going to go head over to the headset where we're going to go through the settings in there. So I recorded this and I realized that there was no voiceover when I originally did it. So I'm, <laughs> I'm dubbing it. So what you need to do is go to your main menu, you go to settings, and then see all. This is just to check that the developer mode has been enabled on the app and is working on the headset. If you don't see this, just restart the Oculus Quest and then boot it back up. It should be there. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Navigate and then Library. And once we're in here, we just need to look for Unknown Sources. And selecting this will allow us to see and load other applications that aren't directly from the Oculus Store. So you can see I've got some in here from previously. So a couple of games from SideQuest and a couple of projects as well. So now that we've enabled developer mode on the mobile and we've confirmed that it works on the headset, before we can plug it into the desktop, we now need to install Oculus ADB drivers, which stands for Android Debug Bridge. That allows us to use command lines to control the headset and allow us to get more information from it during testing and debugging. So to find that, you just need to go on Google. So to go back to Oculus, what we're going to do ADB drivers cool so we'll just like this just load up yep so now what you have to do is read it and accept the agreement you're going to download so I'm going to just put it in download hey. here so we got this I'm going to show it so I've opened it up and we're going to extract the files. I'm just going to replace it in the destination. So we've got it in download. We're going to open it up. And then from here, we've got this file, this, these files here. So we need to just right click on Android, Win USB, and press install. So we agree with this page. If you can't see it, it's gone black. It says open file security warning. And then you just hit open. Our screen's gone white, black. It's asking, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You just hit yes. The operation completed successfully. Awesome. I'm going to close then. That's pretty much it for that. Then because we've now done that, I plugged my headset into the computer. We can actually do open up the command prompt. Do ADB devices. When we hit enter, it actually shows us the list of attached devices. So you can see my headset here is one such and such 
name and then device. So that means we're actually connected, the computer is reading the headset, and we're pretty much good to go. All we need to do now is load up Unreal, and we can build a project to the headset. So we hit F5 on Live Visual Studio. So I'm using the source version of Unreal, which is why I'm loading it through Visual Studio. If you're doing it, just load Epic Games, Launcher, and then just build a project. So I'm going to use Visual Studio to open up Unreal. I'm going to hit Dismiss, and then quit, because I'm not using it. So here, we can say we do a new project. I'm going to go Games, Next, Virtual Reality, so since we're using the Oculus Quest. And I'm going to change these to lowest. So performance characteristics, scale to 3D, ray tracing disabled, don't need that, mobile, so it starts my target platform, and then no starter content, because we don't want too much in it. So Android build. Put it in a new folder called Quest Build. Cool. So from there we just hit create new project and then wait for this to load in compile shaders. Excellent. So now we're in Unreal. We've loaded it up. We're all good to go. So what we've got to do is we're going to go to Virtual Reality Blueprint. We're going to go to Map down the bottom left. And then we're going to load up the Motion Controller Map. This will allow us to navigate and walk around in the headset once we build it. But before we do that, we need to go to Edit. Project settings, maps and modes, so it's not too far, and then we just need to change the editor startup map to motion controller map. Once we've got that, it means once we build the project, this is the map that we'll see, not the original one that loaded up. So once you've selected that map, what we need to do now is go down to Android SDK, make sure that's all good, and you see here project is not configured for Android platform. So we're just going to hit configure now. I've already accepted it, so we're good to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the minimum minimum SDK version and target SDK version to 25. I tried building with the latest version of 26 the other day and it didn't work very well. So we're going to leave it at that. And then from there, we're going to go down. And what we're looking for is advanced APK packaging. Once we're in here, we can actually leave that. We don't need it. So we're going to remove the Oculus signature files from distribution pack APK, which is a good thing to do. Otherwise, it will check and try to build the headset. But it will try to check the project has an Oculus signature for the store, and then it will refuse the app, so it won't work. But what we need to do is go to Package for Oculus Mobile Devices. Hit the drop down, and then we're going to make sure that's on Quest. So we've got that. And what you can do, I'm going to do another video on changing some of these settings to make it more performance for building to the Quest. So what we can do is actually leave this now. We can close that down. So we come to launch. You'll see that we actually have the Oculus Quest here, but there's a little speech mark, which means we can't actually build to it because we haven't selected the platform. So we're going to go to support platforms. And you'll get this window. We just need to set Android. And then what we can do is drop down. See it's gone now. We hit Quest. That's the headset attached to the computer. And then we just hit Build. Now we've done all that right. It should build straight to the headset. Cool. So after a while, you'll be able to put the headset on, or it'll say Running Android Build on Quest with your Quest name. If you put the headset on while it's still attached to the cable, you'll actually be able to see your scene in it. So I'm recording it now, so we got stuff. We can teleport, we can move around, all using the Quest controllers. We can pick stuff up. So that's pretty much it, just to build to the headset. Apart from this, you're all good. Um, you may have noticed that it took a long time to build the project. So, so if you want to see how to make these builds quicker, even with a lot of content, since this one took at least 5-10 to 10 minutes on my machine, then stick around. I'll show you how to change some of the settings within Unreal to be able to do this. And then we'll be able to go from there and start making something pretty decent.
So, I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. Or if I post this on social media somewhere, just drop it in the comments. I also forgot to mention that once you're in the headset and in the environment, your computer will still stay running Android build on Quest. And it won't go away until you actually hit the menu within the headset and then hit quit on the application. Then in the on the PC it'll go through and say launch complete. So it's pretty much done. So what you can do now is if you want to find this again, is you can go down to your library, which will have all your applications. You can go to unknown sources and I believe it was test build. So you can see from here we've got test build. Oh no it wasn't, sorry. On the new project I built for this video, it was Android build, and then you just select that, and then it'll take a little bit, but it'll load back in. Cool. So that's pretty much it. And then I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. And I'll see you after that. See you in the next one. Bye.